Hello guys and welcome to another video, this is Yakura's Moments and today we're gonna talk about how to use your smartphone as a wireless camera with OBS Ninja. In a previous video that I made we did actually something very similar, we connect our smartphone with the PC to use with OBS, zoom call or so on, uh, but we use the Arion.com. Uh, with Arion.com we actually had to download a software in our PC, an application to our smartphone to make it work because these two devices was connecting through Wi-Fi, okay? And at the end the result wasn't so good and it had also the watermark popping up on the screen so it wasn't the best. This time we're gonna check the OBS Ninja which actually is a browser-based program that means you don't need to download anything. And this program works with links. These links you can send it to your smartphone or other people's smartphones or other devices and use it on your OBS live stream. The nice thing about OBS uh, Ninja is that you can send these URL links to your friends around the world and invite them like a guest to your live stream and record them uh, with OBS Studio. So let me show you the web page so we can see what we can do and how we connect our phone with OBS Ninja. Okay, and here we are in OBS.Ninja, the web page. You can see immediately you have four options. The web page is very simple and crystal clear. Uh, the first option is to create a group chat if you want to use on OBS. The second option is to add a camera to OBS. The third is to remote screen share in OBS. And the last one is to create reusable in Vibe. Okay, in this case that I want to use my own smartphone, there's actually, I can use the second and the last option. Uh, on First, I'm going to use the last option so I can send an invite to the phone. And after we're going to use... Uh, we're gonna add the camera with the second option, but I need to open this website in the phone So let's use the last option first of all to see how it works. So I'm gonna click create reusable invite And here it is. So this the green link uh, I send it I can send it to myself to the email or from messenger for wherever you want to our phone and the down the pink link I'm gonna put it uh, to my OBS. So let's see how I'm gonna do it. So let's copy that copy to a clipboard. I'm gonna go to my emails. I'm gonna create actually a default draft email. So I'm just gonna paste it here. This is the link. And we're actually gonna get also the pink one. We're gonna copy the pink one and we're gonna uh, paste it in OBS source here. I'm gonna add a new source. Now I'm on OBS, I'm recording my screen. So I'm gonna add a new source. I'm gonna use a browser source. I'm gonna call it OBS Ninja. Right, and here we're gonna copy the URL that OBS Ninja gave us. So we're gonna copy it, and I'm gonna put here the resolution that I know that my camera is using. Very good. Control V OBS and refresh uh, browser when scene becomes active. So I'm gonna press OK, and right now OBS is waiting for the scene for the camera. So right now, as I send with my email, I need to uh, connect my phone here. So I'm gonna go to my emails here. I'm gonna go to my drafts that I made before that I sent. Let's refresh it. Here it is. So I'm gonna copy that. Copy URL. And I'm gonna open a new uh, Chrome page. Let's open a new one. And I'm gonna paste that here. Click go. It's better working with uh, Chrome. Uh, if you send the link in Messenger, just click it sometimes, maybe it's not working or if you click the link from the email, so better paste it, uh, copy and paste it in a new uh, screen. Uh, share your camera, you click on that, it's appearing on the phone and let's say it's loading on the OBS in my PC, let's see if it's gonna appear. Ah, actually I have to click start, sorry for that. Yes, of course you can change your audio sources here, you have a set, set, headset or something else, so I'm gonna click start and it should, it should appear on the screen. Here it is. So right now I can see myself on the screen. Of course I'm using the front face camera. You can send that on the settings. I can put the, the camera that's on the back. So have better resolution. And also turn it horizontally. Let's see. Here it is. I turn it horizontally. And here I'm recording myself uh, through OBS Ninja with a link that I sent on the phone and it's passing to the OBS studio, I can record myself. And this link you actually can send it to your friends so you can invite guests in your live stream 
and this is how you do it. Okay, and right now I can actually put it on the tripod here and have it like a second camera on my live stream recording myself. So here it is, I put it on the small tripod that I have here and I can put it here on the side to use it like a nice second camera and while I'm having it here let's actually put uh, the webcam as well okay here we are and this is like a small comparison about uh, with the webcam here and the OBS Ninja recording from our smartphone here okay you can even focus the phone because the phone have autofocus so that's amazing I can move even close it's gonna autofocus right so this is the setup here you can see the comparison between the webcam on the left and the smartphone with the OBS Ninja uh, recording here on the right like the second camera is actually pretty nice I wanna hear the sound from it so right now bro yes it's recording in the phone so right now you can see the voice from OBS Ninja you can hear the voice from it uh, let's see the latency one two one two the latency is not bad actually for a second camera and uh, wireless also because we are using it through the browser okay guys i just check, check the video and the audio just to be sure and actually the video and the audio coming from the smartphone with this obs ninja is actually pretty nice comparing uh, to the webcam which i can turn in just a minute but uh, it's actually pretty nice and the image as you can see using it if i had just this webcam i definitely would choose to use the OBS Ninja with the smartphone with this uh, setup here and comparing to the uh, iRune.com that I used the last time this is much better everything and the image and the audio quality okay so let's jump to our audio to our webcam to see how it sounds how better it performs let's go now. now and right now you hear me from the internal microphone of my webcam of the laptop actually and the uh, image you can see it on the left side here so this is how it sound uh, most probably the phone was much better so let's get jump back to the small uh, to the smartphone to the phone with the OBS Ninja setup let's go back right now okay and right now you hear me back from the OBS Ninja with a smartphone here so this is how it can improve your own live stream if you are just using a webcam on your live stream and imagine if uh, this setup here with just this setup here you can invite a guest so even your guest or if you are a guest to some someone's live stream, you can use this uh, this simple actually setup. It's for free and you can see how nice the image is and you don't need to download just anything. You just send the link, invite the person and he can use it simple as that. Okay, so right now we checked how we used the reusable invite from the PC. And the second method is to add your camera to OBS. And as I said, we need to open a separate browser on the phone and use do it from the phone actually okay so um, let me do it from the phone here we are we're actually already there let's go back let's go back to, a, to open a new obs ninja web page and here you have the options similar the web page as you was watching on your screen so i'm going to add a camera to obs I'm going to use the second option and immediately you can see yourself here on the screen. Uh, right now I'm going to click start. Everything is fine. I'm going to use the front face camera this time. And immediately it gives you a link on the top, right? So it says copy this URL link into OBS browser source. So I'm going to copy it and I need to send it back to my PC. So I copied it and I need to go to my Gmail, for example. I'm going to use a draft again, draft email. I'm going to paste it and close it and it's saved like a draft and go back to my uh, OBS Ninja. I'm going to leave it here. Actually, let's put it right here. Okay. And right now we don't need the browser here on our screen. Actually, we just need to go to our emails and check our drafts so we can copy uh, the link that I sent. So we can copy that and we jump immediately to our OBS, which is recording already, as you can see. And we're going to need to create a new source here and call it browser as before. And I'm going to call it again OBS 
ninja. Okay, and here we need to paste that link that we sent from our phone. So I paste that. And you choose your quality, your resolution. My case is 920 by 1080. You can, you can click control audio via OBS and of, co of course refresh browser when scene becomes active. Click OK. And in just a second it will appear. Here it is. It's appeared. Okay, this time you can see the quality is not so good because I'm using the front face camera. So we can change that. So this is the setup by choosing the second option actually guys. So let me choose the back camera here also. Here it is, the back camera. So this is the same thing actually, uh, but we did it from the phone. So we opened the OBS browser from the phone and we sent the link to our PC. So it just was opposite. We did the, the other way kind of, right? So you can see again, I'll close the display. You can see again the comparison is the same image, the same way. We just do it opposite. So it depends up to you. If you want to send the link to someone else, of course, you're going to do it with the uh, with the fourth way with the link. Otherwise, if you do it in yourself, you can do it even this way. It's the same thing. Okay, guys, and that was the video. I want you to tell me in the comment section below if you find it interesting, if you have heard about it before, about OBS Ninja, and how you could uh, use it, right? If you would use it and how you could use it. Would you use it for yourself or would you use it for stream and inviting some friends? And there is other, other options like group meeting and uh, inviting, uh, actually sharing a screen. So how would you use it? Tell me in the comment section below. Guys, I think myself, I'm going to use it for sure for my live streams. Actually, the image is not bad and I love this live, uh, this setup because I can move it anywhere I want, right? Even right now, I'm using it like a second camera here. Okay, so it's pretty nice. Pretty easy to set up. Of course, it's free, as I said. No need to download any application, nothing. You just send the link and it's connecting through the browser. So, guys, that was the video. Make sure to find me on the Twitch, guys, and start to make some gaming lives. So, I'm gonna put, most probably, I'm gonna use this kind of setup so you can check it there how I'm doing it. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe to support me, and see you in the next video.